Hello, and welcome to the Mennonite Farmhouse channel. I'm Leanne, and in today's episode, we are going to be making Amish white bread. This is a recipe that I use in my pineapple stuffing casserole. And pineapple stuffing is amazing with any meal that you serve with ham. And just in time for Easter, we're going to show you this recipe and how to make it. So stay tuned. The ingredients that we'll need for this Amish bread are two and three-fourths cup of bread flour, a quarter cup of canola oil, a teaspoon of instant dry yeast, a quarter cup of sugar, a half a teaspoon of salt, and 18 tablespoons of water. Or you can cheat and just weigh it, and it'll be 216 grams. Or it's also one cup of water and two tablespoons of water and make sure it's between 105 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. First, we're gonna add our water. One teaspoon of yeast. Quarter cup of white sugar. I'm gonna let this sit for five minutes. And while I wait, I'm gonna measure out 330 grams of bread flour. Now that I let this sit five minutes, I'm going to add my canola oil. My flour. And then the salt. Then I always take my dough hook and begin to manually mix. The manual on a KitchenAid will tell you you cannot have it above speed two or you'll avoid the warranty. We're gonna put our dough hook on, lock it into place, and we're gonna get it to form into a ball. I have let this mix for a good couple minutes and see how it still looks really wet. So we're going to use one tablespoon of flour at a time until it starts pulling away from the sides. When your dough has pulled away from the side, that's when you want to start your knead time of five to seven minutes. I'm taking it out of the bowl and I just want to knead it to see if the gluten is where it should be and you just want to take your palm of your hand and just roll it. That means we can let it rest for an hour and let it rise. So I'm going to spray my bowl here so the dough won't stick to it. I'm going to put the dough in, spray the top. I'm just going to put a tea towel over it and put it in my oven where I've had the oven laid on for a while. All right, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So we're going to deflate it. By using the back of our hand. Now 
then I'm just going to roll it up. And tuck in the ends and the seam. I'm not too worried about the air bubbles because we're going to cut up the spread anyhow. I want to use this for sandwich rolls and bread because it's just way, way too sweet for everyday meals. But for a holiday, yeah, we'll use it. And we'll get my flip pan out. Freeze that. Then we'll pinch some of these air bubbles out. Uh, all right. Then we'll place it in our loaf pan and cover it up with our tea towel and let it rise another 30 to 40 minutes. Now that the rise time is over, you want to place your bread into an oven that's 375 for 35 minutes. Fresh and hot, right out of the oven, folks. It doesn't get any better than that, does it? Now we have to let it cool in the pan for five minutes. And if you leave it in there any longer, the bread will continue to sweat and also will cause the bread to dry out quicker. You do not want that. It is the next morning and we are going to cut into this and show you the crumb. That crumb is gorgeous. I used to use this for everyday use, then I realized it just had too much sugar in it. But it is great for holiday baking. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make Amish bread. I hope you give this a try and make pineapple stuffing. I'm telling you, it is so good with your Easter ham. Remember, God gave you a great day. Now go do something great with it. Take care and God bless. And if you made it this far into the video, I'm sure you're loving the content of this channel. May I suggest you watching this next? 